What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucia. If you're not, thank you for being here. You're amazing. You're the best. We're getting back into our routine. We're getting our life together. I did exactly what I needed to do to be able to get out of that burnout period. I let myself sleep in. I let myself relax. I was still working, but I was just sleeping in, not going to work out, just relaxing if I needed to. And I'm finally good and healthy to go back. We're not gonna do anything fancy. It's just gonna be a super simple French braid. I'm not even gonna try that hard to make it look super freaking cute. Since this is just our workout hairstyle. I naturally woke up at 6.30 today because I've been on a strict schedule with the times I go to sleep. And that's where a lot of my burnout came in as well. I was just very lax with the times when I was going to sleep and then waking up was iffy and I was still just waking up and pushing through and going to work out and just like pushing my body a little too hard a little too much and that's been the key for me whenever I felt burnout every time I felt burnout I detach myself from from my routines as much as possible to the point where yes I still have things to do yes I still have to work but if I can help it and I can detach myself from that I will a little bit of blush for the gym I put my PJs back on because I'm gonna film something really quick for TikTok and I'm gonna make some breakfast. Well, sometimes I eat breakfast, sometimes I don't, but my us breakfast usually involves some sort of like fruits and yogurt and chia seeds, which is my favorite thing in the world. It's just so light and simple, but that comes after my morning. And this is something I started doing recently. I started doing 40 grams of protein in the morning and it's my protein mixed with creatine mixed with two shots of espresso in water and ice. And it's literally Really so freaking good. I feel like I can perform so much better during my workouts. I just love it so much. We're going through such a long burnout period. Once you get back into the group of things and once you get back to like your actual routine where you're getting your craft together and getting your life together, you need to ensure that you're eating healthy, that you're eating not just healthy, but that like you're fueling yourself and not wasting a lot of energy doing things and you're not putting that energy back because we need that. We need all our nutrients. I just put a cute workout outfit on so I can go work from a coffee shop, focus. out of that like burned out stage or that burnout feeling is to just change your environment and change your routine a little bit or like even if you're the type of person who freaking needs a routine every single freaking day or else like it messes with you i am the same exact way but when i'm feeling burned out we need to get out of that cycle we need a clean slate a clean mind a clear head space to be able to like think better and be able to go back to your routine with a clearer mind if that makes sense so i feel like i haven't gone to work from a coffee shop in a very long time and now that i'm getting back into the group of things i feel like this is exactly what i needed i'm gonna go work for about three or four hours from the coffee shop and it's gonna be a new coffee shop that i've never been to before and that's exactly what you what you want to do you want to do something new where you still do your responsibilities and the things that you gotta get done but in a new headspace kind of thing so if you have the luxury of being able to go work from a coffee shop definitely do that if not 
not, figure out whether that morning before you go to work, you can do something different. You can go for a walk. You can wake up a little bit earlier and drive to a new neighbor neighborhood where you can go for a walk in that neighborhood or go to a different gym if you're able to. Just switch it up however you can. And I say luxury because sometimes it is a luxury, but it, it, everything does have its pros and cons. I do think the ideal workspace would be something that's a little bit hybrid where you get to work from home, but you also get to go to an office because going to an office is awesome. Like you're in a space that's dedicated to only working and doing exactly what you need to be doing. It doesn't get overwhelming with everything that you need to get done at home. And I love that. And I also love the fact that like when you get to work from home, you get to do the things that you like. You get to enjoy your day from the comfort of your home. So like everything is beautiful if you choose to look at it. Kristen and here's a quick clip of our adventures today. It was so much fun. It was just exactly what we needed I'm so excited for the holidays and I know it's still like the beginning of like mid-november right now But I'm so freaking excited. I got this cute mug that I'm gonna be using the entire month of november and december It's the cutest thing in the world. I'm so obsessed My morning coffee is gonna be in this mug every single day and then we also got gingerbread houses which I'm so excited about. We're gonna be building them and that's gonna be up on the next YouTube video. I'm probably gonna be doing a YouTube video with a bunch of like holiday activity ideas, holiday bucket list ideas and uploading them maybe weekly. We'll do one every week in the month of December. Last year, I tried Vlogmas for 18 days and I just burned the crap out. It was crazy and I just couldn't really finish it and it was always like I was editing my videos that night I was going to sleep at 2 a.m. waking up the next day at like 7 to go to work and it was just the craziest thing in the world so no, we're not doing that this year we're just doing weekly videos but I'm so excited well I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye